TV with Gail Pennington, TV critic with the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Good morning, Gail Pennington. Good morning. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Now we're t- now we're on. Welcome back, Kelly. Thank you, Gail. Good to I be back. You. Thank you. <laughs> I missed her too. I kind of didn't miss you. You know, you did the drop in last week. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, I kind of surprised you, I think. Gail, right. you you need to go back and watch Mad Men from the beginning. You really do. do how many weeks do I need to take off to do that? I don't. Right. No, uh, you can do. You can you you can give one hour a day, maybe one hour every other day. You will find yourself being hooked on the thing. It is. I have rediscovered how great this series really was. I never. Did not know how great this series was. <laughs> I know. I understand. But you can't remember everything right. from how great this series is. Because each one is like an hour movie, in a sense. But if I watch it now, you're going to spoil my plan to watch it when I'm in the old folks home. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you can sort of... <laughs> and by I, then, they'll be, they'll, I'll be able to watch it on my retinas because we won't need a device. I, I, exactly. Into our <laughs> just, just the anticipation... Of Jessica Paré singing "Zuby Zuby Zoo" is is worth the price of admission. That was really one of the most horrifying scenes of prime time TV. <laughs> I was just I watched the one last night where uh, they go to the Howard Johnson. Oh yes. And where Maybe they one ice cream? Yeah, mm-hmm. where they found that Howard Johnson, I have no idea. But it was brand. It looked brand new, and the big orange roof, and the big blue seats, and. I remember the, you know, the old, dirty, dusty orange roof and the sort of old, ripped vinyl blue seats. Um, That's because you weren't going in, like, 1967. Right, right. I mean, it's just, a, it's, a, it's so absurdly good. Um, do we know when, it, oh, it's, it's come back in April, right? Middle April of April. April 5th. April 5th. Oh, it's coming up. So, what, Couple next weeks. week? Next week? Yeah. Next two weeks. Yeah, good. All right, good. I actually have the season premiere in hand. Have you watched it? No. No, I haven't, and everyone wants to know why I haven't watched it yet. And it's because when I have watch, when I watch it, then I'll have watched it. And so, I won't still have it to watch. Oh. So, in, in other words, you don't want it to end? I, of course I don't want it right. to end. Right. It makes me sad, just the thought. I it, can't believe you're holding on to it, and you... I can't believe I you haven't watched it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, but 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 that's a ringing endorsement in in and of it, itself. You know, it's like reading a good book that you don't want to read because you don't want it's it to true. end. You don't want to finish, or you get to the last chapter and you and you put it aside to because you don't want to finish it. I think you should do an, a, a column on shows that never jumped the shark. Not that many of them. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, uh, it, it'd be a good it, it'd be a good a discussion to have. Which shows never jumped the shark? Mm-hmm. You can make an argument Seinfeld. You can make an argument uh, Mad Men, Sopranos. But outside of that, that's pretty tough Very to find. Few. Yeah. I would say Mash. Mash jumped the shark. Did it? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't remember really? it. I yeah, don't remember Mash it. was so long. Mash jumped the shark a long time ago. It went on really long time. It did. It went on like eight times longer than the Korean War. <laughs> 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 All right, what uh, TV this week? Well, tell me about this this guy taking over after uh, Letterman and soon to take over after uh, after uh, Stephen Colbert. Um, have you seen his promos? I have seen his promos. Uh, his name is James Corden, and tonight's his first show. Uh, late, late show, the old Craig Ferguson show. Um, I think he's going to be good, but I, I say that based entirely on a feeling because I haven't seen anything except what you've seen on, on, on the promos. First of all, Colin Ferguson went away and nobody told anybody. He just Craig. St- Craig Ferguson. He, mm-hmm. just, he just stopped showing up. <laughs> um, no, it was, it, was, it was announced and he had a farewell show. Oh, and, he did? Okay. Everything. You just... It's way too late for you to be watching McGraw. Okay. It comes on at midnight. All right, all right. So, so, so he just didn't didn't stop showing up for work. He actually had a goodbye show. All right. All right. So I applaud CBS for for you know going in a um, an outside the box direction with this because no one here has really heard of James Corden much. He he was he played the baker in Into the Woods. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know who how many people saw Into the Woods. I did. I really liked it. He was really really good. Oh, Street, yeah. But I, he's a he's a European. He's he's English, he's right? English. Mm-hmm. He's from London. Yes. I did see an interview with him um, about you know hosting the new show, and he seems very charming. And he is. He has he, an innocence we, about him. I did him an that. interview with him in January, and he uh, when I was out in L.A. and he's he's very charming and 
he's funny in real life and but very down to earth and self effacing. I, I think he's gonna do a good job. He has Tom Hanks on tonight. You're gonna mm-hmm. tell me they couldn't find an American to, to fill that, that role? Well they did find Stephen Colbert to, to fill the other role. Right. Well he's French. <laughs> <laughs> you know his mother his whole family pronounces their name Colbert. Yes, yes. Yeah. Even his sister, who ran for Congress, was Stephen Col- or Colbert, whatever Colbert. Yeah. yeah. Is do we know anything about that show? When it's coming? What's going to be? Anything? In the fall. That's it. That's, That's all we it. know is the fall. Letterman's goodbye is in May, and then they're going to run reruns of. I think they're going to run reruns of primetime shows. Really? In thirty, I think that's their plan. Yeah. Why would they do that? Why don't they just have someone? Well, they don't want to waste Colbert's premiere over the summer. Can't they have like? But they don't want Letterman to work till the or? end. I mean, that seems like they're giving Jimmy Fallon the whole the whole playground. I know, right? Yeah. Well, and then Colbert hasn't been on Comedy Central forever. Right. Mm. Yeah. So I don't. That's I don't. Unusual. I don't know this He's strategy this by time. CBS. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you seen this Killing Jesus? Oh my goodness, McCraw! It's so awful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody said the Killing Kennedy was pretty good. Well. This opens with um, Kelsey Grammer playing King Herod. Frazier? And, and, and a terrible wig and terrible weird beard wig. Yes. <laughs> beard wig. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's bad what you call it. facial hair. <laughs> having bad dreams and wandering around and talking to himself. And it's exactly like when Kelsey Grammer played Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. All right. That's on National Geographic at 7 it's p.m. on three Sunday. three hours long. It's next Sunday. Next oh. Sunday. And that's taken from Bill O'Reilly's book. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's their third killing movie. Um, mm. What's this Call the Midwife, which is getting a lot of oh, attention you know, on PBS? I love I that show. Seen that. I have, it's so good. It's on PBS. I have not seen that. Oh, you need to watch I it. I boycott C- uh, PBS. Only I only oh, watch This Old House and Ask the, This Old House. It's so good. It really is. And, and it has managed to evolve very nicely, even though a lot of the, the main characters have left. Yeah. Um, do the, uh, is this the one where I asked you if they have that, that British accent? They they do have a British accent. Because they the are 19- British. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's set in the 1950s and 60s. Set of curiosity, uh, does PBS have any American shows on? Not many, no. I mean, what's That's the deal? Not that are yeah. popular. I, I mean, it's do. it's our national broadcasting. Why don't they get some of American shows on there? Because the networks that are doing the good American stuff, like Olive Kittredge and shows like that, are, are HBO. All right. Any uh, any talk about HBO going solo in your world? I think that that's great for people who just want HBO and don't want any anything else. But if you add up how much all these streaming services are going to cost, you're going to be paying more than you would for cable. I know you think that, but I talk to more and more people who just have done away with cable and they love it. They just love it. And you should do a story on the website unblockme.com. Did you hear about that? Is it legal? Well, there's not a. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they're not going to arrest you. Unblockme.com is a website which, listen to this, it will change your router specifications, so it will make people think your router is from a different area. So when you go to MLB.com, it will lift the blackout of the Cardinal games. It's probably not legal. Well, I don't know if it's illegal. I'm just saying. Do you remember that teenager who who Napster. was going to go to prison for downloading music? Right, right, right. That's but that was stealing. This isn't stealing. This is just it's changing. Cheating. No, no, no. It's not even cheating. It's just a. It's you determine my router is in St. Louis. Well, I'm going to cha- I'm going to hide where where my my router's from. There's nothing illegal about that. Kelly, in what in what way is that not cheating? Yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, that is. Well, why is it why why if should you're hiding. why should why should the Cardinals and Major League Baseball force me to buy cable? That's cheating. But if you're able to see a channel that you're not supposed to see, that's not legal. It most certainly is legal. I'm not stealing it. I'm buying the whole package, but I can't I can't see the one game I want to see. It's an, hence an interesting article uh, that I would re- love to read, Gail Bennington. Uh, uh, all right. Not technically my beat, but I'll keep it in mind. All right. When can we read you? When can we see you? Um, I'll be in the Friday 
Go section, and then in Sunday a and I'm going to be looking at the sad state of sitcoms. Uh, that is, and that'll be a long story. Uh, yes, it will. Uh, Gail, have a good week. Thanks. Bye, guys. Eight thirty-one here, Big Five Fifty KTRS, Golden Oak Lending, Golden Oak Lending.